Well, that is. Oh my. What am I doing? Oh! Look at. I think that's the right height. Good morning. This video is about recycling. Or upcycling? Would that be good? upcycling? This is a wooden paint palette. And it's a used wooden paint palette. This was something that it was like, what am I gonna mix all my paint on? I'm out of palette paper. I grabbed this, this little guy here and mixed all this paint. Then I left it and, and it dried never to be used again and just kind of thrown unceremoniously into a pile. And going through that pile, I found it and I said, wow, that's really kind of cool. It's very abstract. I can make something out of that. So, um, we're gonna just experiment with this and I'm going to just create a painting on it for today, but um, that's kind of neat. Um, just little, small, small projects. Small projects. Okay, so after doing a graphite sketch, which I can barely see, I'm starting with some neutral acrylics, i.e. black, gray, and white, to get an underpainting down on this here wooden palette. As a lover of Greek mythology, I decided to base this painting on the story of Poseidon and Aphrodite, who evidently had two children together. And as one of my favorite sculptures ever is the bust of Neptune created by Lambert Sigisbert Adam, which I'm probably maiming that name, in the 1700s, I thought I would use said sculpture as my inspiration for Poseidon. that this is actually a pretty good stopping point with the acrylics considering this already has a lot of acrylic on it because it was the palette. So I'm gonna stop here with the acrylics. I've got the basic idea on here and I am going to let this dry and go on to oil paint. So, as many of you already know, I prefer to always finish my paintings with a layer of oil paint. Why? Because oil paint is beautiful. It's juicy. It brings everything to life. Oil paint makes me feel like one who sculpts with a paintbrush. Paintings have more depth, more vibrancy, and mixing colors, especially skin tones, is way easier, in my opinion, with oil paints than it is with acrylics. One thing I am trying to do is allow some of those original palette colors to show through in spots. This gives the painting an integrated appearance. I keep the warmer tones in Aphrodite's face and play off the reds that are already there. And with Poseidon, I just amplified some of the already existing colors of the background to show through so he didn't look too neutral. Now it's time to put on more lights because it's dark outside. Much better. When oil painting, it's important to save your brightest highlights for last, and when painting two figures on one canvas, or in this case, one palette, make sure the light source is coming from the same direction, otherwise it's just gonna look weird. Oh, Poseidon, did you bring your own light source? I did. Right. Point being, light source needs to come from the same direction.
it is the next day and I wanted you to see this in natural light because I think it just looks gorgeous. Tell me what you think. It's still a little bit shiny, so I'm trying not to allow the glare because the oil paint is still wet, so I'm trying not to touch it too much. But anyway, this was a really fun project. I, I quite enjoyed it, actually. I think I might do more of these. Like, I'll mess up a palette and then make something out of it later, you know? Don't know why I never thought of that. This. Yeah. Anyway, if you like this video, please hit the like button. Please subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And thank you so much. I love each and every one of you. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys. Yeah, self-portrait, you know. She looks just like me. Keep telling myself that anyway. <laughs> I don't know why she ended up looking kind of like Catherine Zeta-Jones. That could be Michael Douglas. Oh, God. What have I done? I don't know. You make the judgment because I know I said it was Poseidon and Aphrodite, but this actually could be a portrait of Michael Douglas and Catherine Zeta-Jones. Not entirely sure how that happened. Hmm.